welcome to this week's episode of Grasshopper. We are visiting Niklas Amron, who is restoring my airplane, my beautiful old Grasshopper L4 Piper Cup. Turning it from the yellow cup into its wartime green. We are in Engelholm, the southern part of Sweden, close to the Danish border. This is the hangar of Niklas, his beautiful restored Piper Cup. He built this ultralight helicopter for a friend and he's working on this tiger mud. And here are my beautiful newly made Piper Cup wings. I swapped my wonderful hanger to have my wings done. The guy got my hanger and the deal was that he should restore my wings. So he restored the wings and put on new canvas and painted them together with my Danish mechanic who just signed them off. But there is a problem. Niklas points out. Here is a crack and there's something missing. Niklas tells me that you cannot attach the aileron. Here is a piece of metal missing. Niklas show me how it should be on these Super Cup wings in his workshop. This piece of metal is missing on my wings. The guy that restored my wing and the mechanic who signed them off forgot to put in this piece of metal. Niklas. He points out that there's also another thing missing. On top of every metal part in the wing should be two layers of canvas. Let me show you how it should be done up. in the manual. Let's see. Piper. Approved method list of this STC. Hmm. Let's see. My wing has only one layer of canvas here. There should be two layers. Several things have been done wrong. Something might be just a little neglect and it is maybe not so bad, but that this piece of metal is missing and the ailerons cannot be put on, that's a big problem. I hope there's a really good reason why my mechanic signed the wings off with this huge mistake on them. The question is if I have to totally redo the wings now. The good news is really to see Niklas' workshop. The airframe, the fuselage is glass blasted and rust protected. How, look how beautiful it is and Niklas have installed the wooden spars on them. Now we have to discuss the paint. The fabric which is going on the fuselage will be polyfiber. So Niklas is showing me the polyfiber paint he bought for me, the glue which is going on. I have to choose between one or two components. I can also choose the Randolph Nitrate dough as I did it in the old days, but that's very flammable and I don't want that. One component is great in the way that I easily can take it off with a solvent if I have to repair somewhere. The problem is that I might not be able to paint the metal and it won't last as good as two components. The two components is great in the way that if I paint it with this, I can paint all the material in the airplane with the same kind of paint. The wood, the metal and the canvas. And when I do it, it will last for a very long time if I don't have any mishaps and if I don't have to change the paint scheme. So the choice is between two or single component paint. I also have to make a hard choice. Polyfibrous paint is expensive and I have very little funds. It's in the middle of the Corona crisis my art business is pretty much at sleep right now, as many people experience, sales are down during the corona crisis. 
So how am I going to pay for the restoration? I might be able to get a sponsorship on car paint, but it's not as good. So if any of you out there might have an idea how I can get funds or a sponsor for the polyfiber paint, that will be great. I prefer the polyfiber single component paint for my airplane. If I can't get funds or a sponsor for the polyfiber single component paint, I will try to get a sponsor for car paint with softener two component. So now I'm going to figure out how I'm going to this blend exactly the right color of that green. So there are many things to consider here. It's how shiny should it be? Should I paint it in a way that it look faded from the sun? Should I paint it in a way it has a lot of patina and a lot of wall marks? Or should I paint it as it came out of the factory? So I have to consider that. And I'm talking to more interesting people right now who have done beautiful restoration projects. I hope I can make a small video about that later. And thank you to the community who's helping me out big time. There's a great L4 community out there who's sharing their experience of blending paints and do the restoration work and also sharing uh, their knowledge about how to trace the military records, which is really, really exciting. But we are going to talk more about this in the next episode. Thank you so much. Um, stay safe out there and uh, remember to subscribe and uh, run my videos in your pocket. I need 4,000 hours watched and 10,000 subscribers in order to earn money on my YouTube video to keep the airplane flying. Thank you so much. See you out there. Might be difficult, but hey, nothing is impossible. Stay safe out there and uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you again.